The Society of Ouroboros. They are an organization that seeks to manipulate the world from the shadows, led by a leader called the Grand Master. Given that the response of the public to the idea of Ouroboros' existence would either be panic or skepticism, we don't acknowledge them publicly. But they exist. There is no question of that. And they've had plans in motion for years. Well, the main reason they came to Liberal was to investigate the society. Let's just say we've known about them for a while now. And to be more precise, I came to investigate the Shining Ring, the Oriole, that they seem to be after. Well, Weissman, I shall enjoy watching the Angus Gospel Plan unfold to the very end. So, what we've been calling the Gospel's Orbal Shutdown Phenomenon, it steals all the orbal energy formed in an orbit down to the very last jewel. The energy then disappears through the warp. It is sent elsewhere. Possessed of infinite power and the sum of all wisdom, yet the harbinger of bottomless despair. And the wind thou standeth in its presence, man must offer up an answer. The moment is upon us. Oriole sealed in the darkness where Septium's light does not reach. May you gaze upon our poor material world through your gospel. That's it. That's the Oriole. My comrades in arms, thanks to your labors, the third stage is complete. And now, our plan moves into its final stage. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the home of all that is sacred. Joshua. You passed the final trial. Excellent, excellent. Be proud. You are worthy to be present for the resurrection of the Shining Ring, the Oriole. Yeah, not interested in that at all. Thanks. I'm here to put a stop to all the stupid weirdness. And I'm here to get Joshua back. Ah, yes. Sadly, I'm afraid that won't be happening. What do you mean? Joshua, hey! No matter how you try to deny it, the truth remains. Joshua's mind is little more than a construct. The stigma on his shoulder is proof. Proof that he is a Voroboros, that he is my possession. How dare you? Perhaps if Joshua had somehow erased the stigma of his own will, he could have found release. But alas, he never managed to get that far. It would be best if I kept him as a research subject for a bit longer. You really are as much of a monster as they say. You are so revolting it almost moves man to poetry. Goodness me! Such insults, and how impotent they are! You see, I suspect Joshua realized very quickly what the stigma on his shoulder meant. Surely, he knew something like this exact situation would occur. Uh. Yet he never breathed a word of his troubles to any of you, did he? Not even a whisper. And conversely, none of you were sensitive enough to notice his pain. What power these bonds of yours have. What complete earth-shaking potential. I... But come now, there's no need for such long faces. You have been granted the privilege of being here for this glorious moment. All that remains now is to make the correct choice. Privilege? Choice? What are you going on about? Perhaps I should start from the very beginning. How much do you know, I wonder? About this city and the events that occurred here with the Oriole nearly 1,200 years before our time. Um... So that's the Oriole. It most certainly is. One of the ultimate artifacts, capable of producing literally endless power and shipping miracles with it. But the ancients sealed it away despite its limitless science-shattering potential. Why do you think they would do such a thing? Um... Well... 
Ah, you were too busy struggling with what was before you to bother learning anything, I suppose. Well then, allow me to play the role of Professor once more and elucidate the matter of truth. Millennia ago, Ideos of the Sky granted humanity the seven treasures. For brevity's sake, we'll say each one utilized a facet of reality in order to manifest miracles in their own way. Humanity split into seven factions, each centered around a treasure, to pursue an ideal based on the powers of the given treasure. One such ideal was this Liber Arc, a city in the sky with the Oriole at its center, a paradise removed from the troubles of the ground, where each man's gospel could grant any wish through the Oriole. Mankind lived a bountiful life here, absolutely free of strife. Over time, however, people's lives were swallowed up in the artificial bliss granted to them by the Oriole. Not just physical ecstasy, but even dreams were provided by the Oriole. False realities granted people long sought spiritual fulfillment. The people of Liber Arc, dependent on miracles that were all but narcotic, began treading the path to annihilation. The Ark's inhibitions lost all sense of ambition and ethics and slid into madness and despair. Birth rates dropped catastrophically while suicide and bizarre crime ran rampant, and the whole society walked the path to a slow demise. But the Oriole passed no judgment on these people, he merely granted the miracles asked of it. And so the shining jewel of the sky became a den of evil and chaos. This was the situation Celeste Oslis and her conspirators faced over 1,000 years ago. They built the seal and the device towers even as they fought off the guardians of the Oriole, which is sent forth to save itself. Then at last, they sealed not just the Oriole, but the entire city in another dimension. That's what happened 1,200 years ago? It does ultimately fit with what we've seen. I will grant that the Elder Oslises did quite well, given the circumstances. But, think for a moment. The cost of Celeste's victory was humanity being cast forth into a land of chaos, forced to start again from nearly nothing. Think of all the suffering man endured then, and endures now, as man savages one another with endless petty wars. Can it truly be said that she made the right decision? Well? On the other hand, we have gained or regained horrible technology and once again live bountiful, easy lives. At this rate, only two wins are possible. Either we continuously seek to dominate one another and, unable to control ourselves, obliterate each other in an orgy of conflict. Or, like the people of old, we sink into narcotic self-pleasure, let automated systems run the world and live as farm animals. Either physical or mental annihilation awaits. There's but one single path for humanity if it wishes to survive. The beasts of mankind must be led to the point where they obtain the two things required for true, enlightened sentience. A flawless rationality, capable of resisting any temptation and unswayed by even the fiercest circumstances. And peerless intelligence. Ever capable of finding the correct solution, unmoved by crude emotion. This is the true goal of the Gospel Plan to do what even the ancients could not, to advance our minds to what they should be. You're actually serious. An ambitious goal, if nothing else. I would so appreciate it if you would not look at me as if I were a megalomaniacal lunatic. Man cannot help but change and reform through fear when confronted with something beyond his imagining. In that sense, what better tool exists to drive evolution forward than the Oriole? I will guide mankind onto the correct path to salvation with this great treasure for my dios. That is my duty as one of the Anguists, my duty to Ouroboros and its master. Ah. <sighs> Boy, I bet you're a real hit at parties. Not. Oh, what's this? A flawless rationality, capable of resisting any temptation and unswayed by even the fiercest circumstances? Peerless intelligence, ever capable of finding the correct solution, unmoved by crude emotion? What's the point of any of that? It seems someone was sleeping during the lecture, 
As I said, mankind faces annihilation through either conflict or mental entropy. The only way we can... No, no, I heard the lecture just fine. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm trying to say is, isn't there something we can do about the problems you described if we know they exist? Hmm? It's like Joshua said to Lowe. We aren't completely powerless. They might not be guided by flawless, peerless whatever, but everyone's working together to get through the crisis going on right now. I've gone across all of Liberal and seen it with my own eyes. Don't you think we're capable of getting along just fine without some kind of forceful grand transformation? Really now? Ecking out survival by flocking together is how beasts and insects live. Is that really all you have to offer on the potential of humanity as it stands now? Is there anything else I need to offer? Is there a problem with being the same? I mean, we're living beings too, you know? And heck, aren't I just talking about the strength of life? What? I don't think people are just animals, of course. I just think that living honestly with the spark of life from others as your driving force, that's what it means to live. People don't need to be omnipotent super beings or whatever you want them to be. People just need to be aware of one another and help each other out. Hmm. And you know what? I bet the people who sealed the Oriole away in the first place felt the same way. I mean, sure, making miraculous mundane and relying on nothing but them is really bad by itself. But the biggest problem there, more than anything, is that it makes it so there's no point in knowing or helping each other. That's awful. Perfect. A man can only be a man because it's others who make the man. You nailed it, Estelle. Ah, still sticking to the mutual assistance argument and invoking the power of human bonds of all things. I would ask you to read a history book before saying such nonsense, Miss Bright. As an example, consider the overpowering nation-crushing machine called war. Is man not only capable of being ground beneath its tread? Absolutely not. In the middle of the biggest war in Liberals' history, my mother gave her life to save mine. And because of that, I chose the path of Abracer, and now, look at me. I'm here to stop the crisis you caused and prevent another war from breaking out. All thanks, in the end, to my mother. Hell, I'd say you just made my point for me. People are not powerless. Not against anything. Pleh. You're quite good at trite answers, if nothing else. If you really seriously believe people are powerless, and you've really convinced yourself humanity can only be saved by you turning us into emotionless superhuman beings, then that makes you really pathetic, I think. What? I mean, that'd mean you've never known the joy of trusting someone or helping them. To think that your only smug satisfaction comes from watching people struggle. That's just... That's too sad. Mm. But even if I feel sorry for you, I am a bracer. I can't ignore the fact that you're getting a lot of people involved in your little pity party. Sorry, but I'm afraid we're going to have to stop you. By force. <laughs> you ignorant little girl. How dare you talk to me like that. Very well then. The professor would like for you to prove your theory. What? His evil eye! God damn! Huh? Do be patient for a moment, everyone. I promise this will be quite a show. What are you planning, Weissman? Joshua, forward! Joshua, no! Come, Miss Bright, do show me. You claim humanity can stand against forces larger than it. Show me proof you can stand against despair. <laughs> Fine. Quite an impressive move. Leaving him with the Divine Blade for a while seems to have paid off nicely. 
It does always feel good to see a product of one's craft honed to an even finer edge. You awful... And now for the climax to our little show. Joshua, seize her. No. <laughs> Estelle. And thus, the strength of humanity proves to be nothing more than a house of cards before a hurricane. But I am an academic after all. I do understand the necessity of proof. So we'll have Joshua provide the final test. What? What indeed. It will be a simple experiment. I'm going to have Joshua end your life. Once you are dead by his hand, I will break his hypnosis and return him to his senses. No, you can't. Oh, I do wonder what kind of expression Joshua will have on seeing you dead at his feet. Doesn't it just get your blood pumping? Don't even think about it. If you do that, Joshua would eat. Yes. This time, his heart may just be crushed to powder. If that happens, however, all I need do is construct him a new persona. And then, I can offer him the chance to become human yet again, and observe the results. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Stop. Stop, it's too cruel. Isn't it? Now come, Joshua. End her. Mm. Joshua. I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't die. I promised I'd walk with you. Please, Joshua, awaken! But I believe in you. Joshua, don't give in. Don't run away from reality, even if I die. To be honest, if you did die, I'm not sure I could face reality. <laughs> what? Oh, oh uh, yeah, that's checkmate. Joshua? Sorry, Estelle. I didn't mean to scare you like that. What? What? This is absurd! He can't possibly have reclaimed his will with the- Wait! The stigma! What happened to the stigma on your shoulder? Oh, yes. That. The stigma you carved into my flesh and mind is gone. Thanks to you, it has been shattered. But- uh, how? I had a hypnotic wedge of sorts jammed into the stigma, keyed to a particular command. I've been poking at the wedge on my own since then, getting it ready to shatter the stigma the instant someone put pressure on it. What? You! A what now? A wedge. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to keep our promise the way things were going. So I asked Kevin for a little hypnotic assistance after we crashed. Kevin? Uh, guilty as charged. Honestly, I wasn't even sure what to make of his crazy plan at first. If he'd bet wrong, I tried to think that what could have happened. So, uh, hey, good job beating the odds there, Jay. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Uh, not what I expected, but I'm not gonna complain. Father Graham, was it? Well, I thought you were just a fledgling little squire. But it seems I underestimated your bag of cute tricks. A mistake I'll not repeat. I say it's more the guidance of Idios than anything. I guess I really shouldn't expect you to get it. What with you turning your back on the faith and all? Besides, wasn't really my idea to start with. Someone else gave Joshua the idea, and I just ran with it. What? Who else? No. Cassius Bright, damn you! Dad? Oh, the letter he gave you before we got on the Arcel. Yes. That was why he wanted to make sure only I read the letter, just in case anyone was listening in. I suspect your best chance of breaking the curse lies in Father Kevin's hands. How to use that key is a decision that must be yours alone to make. 
Win your freedom by predicting what Weissman will do. I expect no less of Cassius Bright. Oh, for crying out... Dad could have dropped me a hint about that at least. Honestly, I'd been worried about it for a long time. I kept wondering what you would make me do if you took control of me again. And so knowing you, I decided to bet everything on one idea. That you couldn't possibly resist ordering me to do the one thing I feared the most. And sure enough, you ordered it, and that broke the stigma. I'm finally completely free of you. Joshua... You foolish little child. If you had just obeyed me, you could have aspired to such heights. I could have advanced you in ways you cannot even dream of. Much like how Estelle turned you down once, I really have no interest in any of that. Besides, if I've learned anything in this whole journey, it's that one's path in life isn't given by someone else. It's something you find with others as you search for it, no matter how dark your surroundings. Ha <laughs> ha! Absurd. The history of man is stained with the blood of fools who try finding your path. Without a guiding light to shine on that road, they shall remain lost. You're wrong. We use the light we give off to find our way together. That is how we found our way here, through all your cynical traps. That's right. <laughs> you do like your speeches, don't you? You shambling wreck of an enforcer. Show me that. Show me this light you claim will guide you through the darkness. And I shall show you in turn the blinding light of a loyal servant of the Grand Master, the power of the Faceless, one of the Anguists! Bring it on! The one being blinded here is you!
Look at this. How does that feel? <laughs> Come, squirm for me. <laughs> Enjoy the show.